Welcome to Malaysia, a vast metropolis filled with endless culture, incredible cuisine, and amazing people. We're in KL! This is our first time in Kuala Lumpur, and we cannot wait to have our senses come alive in this incredibly modern, diverse haven. Welcome to Malaysia. So to catch you up, we spent the last couple of weeks traveling from the south to the north of Vietnam, where we took a 20 hour train, we went on some motorbikes in Ho Chi Minh City, and we went sailing through Halong Bay. And now we're gonna be traveling through Malaysia, especially here in the capital, and deep diving into the different cultures and cuisines and seeing exactly what Malaysia has to offer. Nice to meet you. Have a good day. Have a nice day. Nice to see you. Have a nice day. Oh, they were so sweet. They're just like already stuck into giving us recommendations of what to eat. We've only been here for a minute or two and people are already saying hi and that is just the best welcome to a country and a new city. Are you making roti? Chapati. Oh, oh wow, they look, they smell so good. So we've actually found ourselves in brick fields, which is also known as Little India. And our noses are like on high alert because we can just smell everything, all the spices. There's a guy making chapatis. Oh, it's so much. This, this is what we love about Malaysia. We're getting to see it firsthand. Yeah, why not? And a mango, mango lassi. Okay, okay, yes, okay. why not? So we've come to Jaya restaurant and we are starting off lightly. We're just gonna have something to drink. We've ordered some masala tea and mango lassi. I have no idea what that is, but I'm so excited to try it. And this restaurant has everything. They have all sorts of Indian food. They've got dosa, they've got curries, they've got literally everything. So we're not quite ready to do that yet, but let's start off nicely with a drink. Just got our masala tea. Oh, it smells good. Oh. oh my word. I've never had tea so like vibrant with flavor before. Oh my god. It's good? It's absolutely delicious. It's not too overpowering, it's just like really tasty. This is my new favorite thing. <laughs> Already. <laughs> already. This is the first thing I've had in Malaysia and it's already so good. Thank you. Oh my god. Thank you. Look at this. Look at this. Whoa. Oh, it's mango smoothie. What? Mm. Why is it so good? It's like a mango smoothie but like with a bit of something in there. Bit of zazz, yeah. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> So we just learned that a lassi is not only just a mango smoothie but also has some milk, a bit of sugar, some yogurt and a sprinkle of cardamom as well. That's what we're tasting that makes it a little bit different. Mm. So that was only 9 ringgit for 2 drinks so it's about $1 per, per drink. drink. Per drink. We decided to just get a drink for now because we're going to get on the train here. We are at KL Central, which is the central station, and we're going to make our way to another area where we're going to try some local Malay food. Let's go. Since Malaysia is the fourth country we've been to this year, we wanted to highlight how much we rely on public Wi-Fi, and it's not always as safe as you may think. That's why we wanted to thank Surfshark for always keeping us safe with the best VPN on the internet. If you don't know what a VPN is, it stands for Virtual Private Network. 
and it encrypts all of our information sent between our computer and the internet so no hackers can steal our information. Since we spend most of the time in the cafe, hotel or airport, it's really important. Plus, it's more than just that. We use our VPN to get access to more movies and series on Netflix. It's so easy to change your virtual location and get access to unlimited content libraries. Use our code SHEVENDEV to get 83% off plus an extra three months for free. And there's a 30 day money back guarantee, so there's no risk to try it out. So click the link in the description to find out more. Okay, back to the video. We've also noticed how much food there is. Every single shop that we've walked past has been a vast variety of food, whether it was Chinese, Malay, Indian. This is such a cool area. We can get so many smells from each restaurant. I think this is the perfect place where you can get a cheap haircut, you can get delicious food. As from the drinks that we just had that was super, super cheap, we are already loving being here. I can't wait to go to the Malaysian side of the city, which is called Kampung Baru. We're gonna get on the train right now. Let's go see. Let's go. The people have been really Oh my god, they've been so nice to us. And, and we haven't really We have been out for like yeah, 30 minutes. <laughs> a few minutes. It's crazy how on this side, you've got like little India. And then on this side, like you've got these giant buildings. It's crazy. I like it. It's very modern. That's the first thing I realized as soon as we got off the plane. And what's really different compared to coming from Vietnam, no motorbikes. Everybody's driving in the car. Oh my god, that's well, so true. Very few motorbikes, let me say. Very few. Speaking of motorbikes, there are no motorbike taxis that I've seen anywhere. And coming from Vietnam, where there were just a bazillion motorbikes everywhere, to going to a city that's like super calm and not as much chaos is quite nice. <laughs> Line five. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you for your help. Thank you. Right, okay. Since this is the central station, there are so many different lines. So we have to go up, and this is a giant shopping mall right outside Little India. So we're gonna go in here, gotta go up, find another station. I love this part of being in a new city. You gotta kind of figure everything out, but everybody's been helpful. Let's go on the train. I am more than happy to be walking around in the mall because even after a few minutes outside, it's really hot. So to get that air con <laughs> is always needed. Look at this mall though. Oh my God. We're getting our first taste of the Malaysia malls and they are insane. I mean, she was just like, oh, just walk in the mall. And I was like, this is like huge. Oh my God, they have typos. They have Typo! I love Typo! <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy! This is all the station! <laughs> okay, we didn't realize how big the central station is and there are so many lines coming out of here. The lady said go to line 5 but we cannot see any numbers right now. It's actually so impressive. I had no wow. idea Malaysian railway lines were so, so modern and so well organized. Like I'm really impressed. Okay, so we figured out that number five is a dark pink line, but this is a pink line and this is a pink line. <laughs> so we're gonna just have to pick one. And, pick one. And let's see what's best. Let's go to this. I, I feel like this one. <laughs> Oh, it's the same. Okay. <laughs> Petrol number one. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, so they're both <laughs> number five. Oh, oh, that's so funny. You can tell it's our first day. Number <laughs> five. Now we know what we're doing. Now we know. And two ringgits. Oh my gosh. Two, two ringgits. ringgits. For four stops.
That was pretty cool. Wow. Now we're gonna go and find some food. <gasps> oh my god, there they are. Oh my god, it's the first time we're seeing the towers. They're actually unreal. My dad's been to the Patronus Towers and I actually had a little relic of the Patronus Towers in my bedroom for years. And now that I get to see it myself, it's actually like really, really special. So now that we've hopped off the train to a quick stop called Kampung Baru, which is a complete contrast to where we were earlier this morning in Little India, it is now more of the local Malaysian feeling. It's very quiet here. And we are now going to try the national dish of Malaysia, Nasi Lemak. We're already seeing a difference just a few stops away. There's so much street food behind me. So I think we will have no problem finding good food here. There is one street with trees either side kind of covering the road which is perfect because it's hot and people just walking up and down and lo loads of street food. Oh, this is where we need to be. Oh wow. Oh, I think he's making little cracks. Those look so good. Oh, look at these chilies. place called Wanjo and we heard that it's the best place to have nasi lemak in this area. As we walked in this lady just said you want one or two no question and now she is making some incredible dish for us. Okay. I'll have that. Okay. Uh, yes. That looks good. Wow. Oh, yes. That looks great. Wow. <laughs> wow. There are so many different flavors that you can just add to your dish. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Wow. Look at that. Oh my word. Yes, two. Perfect. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Wow, we just learned our first word. What the lady told us was nasi lemak is actually a variety of things. Anchovies, sauce, cucumber, eggs, and nasi is obviously rice, and then you've got the meat on top, and then you kind of eat it all together. So it looks very good, it smells divine. Mm. It's not what I expected at all. It's kind of like a very sweet, spicy flavor, and the rice is so tasty. This was just Whoa. two ringgit. Sweet milk tea. Oh my gosh. Two ringgit, that's crazy. And it's so good, especially because it's so hot outside. This is so refreshing. Mm. Wow. What have you got there? Look at the colors. Maybe I've made like a, a mush. <laughs> the, the colors. It's a little spicy, which I like. So each of our dishes was 10 ringgit each, and then the drinks were 2 ringgit each. 24 ringgit for this whole meal. If you have any other foods that you recommend we should try, please let us know in the comments below. To try the national dish of Malaysia was awesome. It was packed with flavor, such unique ingredients that we got to taste for the first time. From what we've noticed so far, the streets are absolutely clean. They are spotless. The weather here is very comfortable. And we heard that Malaysia has over 200 rainy days in a year. So I think we're gonna be seeing a lot of that. As you can see behind me, we are going to make our way to the Patronus Towers. But before we do, we actually have to cross this beautiful bridge. It's called the Saloma Bridge and it's filled with 4,100 diamond facade panels, which as you can see is like a state-of-the-art bridge.
This is by far one of the prettiest bridges I've seen coming right over the highway and we are actually the only ones here. It's oh my gosh, we have just made it to the Patronus Towers which are right behind me and they're even more magnificent in person. You see pictures of it online but when you get here First of all, the size just blows you away. But the design is so unique. It kind of just dwarfs all the other buildings around it. And they are the tallest twin towers in the world. So of course it's fascinating. Besides its beautiful infrastructure, the beautiful, exquisite, unique design. The size is, is yeah, daunting. It's, Whoa. it's 451 meters tall. It's got 88 stories. And it's got a connecting bridge on the 41st floor. You can go inside and you can go all the way up to the bridge. So we're gonna try and see if we can go in right now. We're in KL! We're in Woo. I'm really enjoying today. <laughs> So this I... is the angle that we have to look at. <laughs> That's how tall it is. These towers, oh my gosh. <laughs> this angle is crazy. Holy moly, I didn't realize that. This is about the only time where we found people to be doing the touristy thing, even though we've been doing the touristy thing all day. Take photos with the Patronus Towers and have people like sell you like a wide angle lens to take like the photo. Just walked into the Patronus Towers and fortunately the tour to go to the top is fully booked at the moment so we'll have to come another day. In the first few stories of the Patronus Towers is the shopping mall where they have so many high-end brands and when you're looking at the Patronus Towers from the outside you're not expecting this. Look at this behind you, look how full it is. <gasps> and it just goes on and on. Right now we're outside, we're in KLCC Park. What's amazing about this place is that even though there's an abundance of skyscrapers here, it's actually super green. There's a beautiful man-made lake, there's loads of trees, and I'm really, really surprised to see that even in the big city like this, there's so much greenery. Oh dear, I think you might be too big for the, the swing. He seems happy about it. It's kind of nice to be in a park in the middle of the city that's super calm and people are doing some exercise. People are actually just chilling out. We are going to be spending most of our time here in the capital. So if there's any recommendations that you have, please let us know in the comments. We cannot wait to explore more of this beautiful city. So the weather is starting to get a little bit dismal. So we'll have to end this video here. Please subscribe because we have so many more adventures coming here in Malaysia. We have really been blown away by KL. We have really had our expectations exceeded. We've had a wonderful time here and we can't wait to see so much more. So in the next few videos, we're really gonna deep dive into showing you what else the city has to offer and we'll see you on the next adventure.